Hola, me llamo Valentino Herrera de Comida Tripe. And I'm Eddie Lin of Deep End Dining. And we're here at Baldwin Park today on this episode of Kamikaze Kitchen. Baldwin Park today. Oh, is that where we are? That's where we are, and we're here to meet with Chef Juan Mondragon from Juan's Restaurante. Now, Mondragon translated from French means my dragon. However, the chef himself and the cuisine that he cooks is actually based in the state of Guerrero in Mexico. Now, we're going to bring him something maybe native to Mexico, maybe something that he has or hasn't seen before, but it's going to be pretty special. You ready? Can't wait. Let's go in. Welcome to Tetuan. Nice place. Welcome to Tetuan. Tetuan. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, introduce you guys to the chef I've been uh, raving about. I'm pretty sure he can work some magic with whatever you guys got yeah. in the bag. Great. All right. All right. Hey guys, this is the uh, chef uh, Juan Mondragon. The guy uh, I was talking to you. Chef Juan Mondragon. Nice to meet you. Eddie? Well, We've heard legendary things about you, about things that you can do, and so we thought we brought you something special. Um, okay. so especially see if you can figure out what this is. Okay. <laughs> I said iguana. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, good. wait. You guessed the iguana, like right away? Well, yeah, you can touch. I, I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you know, how do you know so much about iguana, chef? In Guerrero, my gum and... Our house used to cook a lot of iguanas, and my mom used to cook that. Uh oh, all we the got time. a ringer. So <laughs> we, I know. The you iguanas. threw that down pretty quickly. Yes. Like you, you, the, well, you, it, you can it touch, bothered you a little you bit. You can touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so in Guerrero, Mexico, it's uh, a common. We, we cook iguanas like we eat iguanas like a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. How many iguanas have you had in your life? Oh. A lot since I was a little boy. Oh, yeah? I was, uh, I was, they all have this kind of food over there. The one is really good for you. Yeah. yeah so, uh, I hear a lot of things about one is uh, Actually, I have a recipe for my grandma. You can use it for this one. Oh, perfect. So, is one right. is iguana like a, a special uh, dish or is it just everyday? It's a special, it's a special. It's, uh, special? You know, that's, that's the way uh, the Mayas, and, uh, you know, they used to cook before. That's my uh, very, very good. Hispanic food. Oh, the Mayan used to yes. eat it. Oh, that's ancient. Yes, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. Mayan Viagra. I think we're Mayan? Mayan? Oh, good. We're good to it. <laughs> what, should we Mayan Viagra, really? I don't know. <laughs> we, could sell it. we could sell it as Mayan Viagra, why not? But it's, uh, and it's actually really good, too. Eddie, I think we're in for something special today. Yeah, well, if it's like Mayan Viagra, I think we're in something over expectation. Uh, I, uh, I think we need shots and dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, well, uh, Chewie's going to find something to keep us busy. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave this with you and see what you can come up with. We'll come back in a little while and, uh, and see what you've done. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Chewie. All right, Chef. Just make sure it's edible. Okay. Okay. Got it. Make sure I can eat it. All right. All <laughs> Thanks. Right. Thank you. Sir, I'm gonna use uh, one of the recipes from my grandma. The, you know, I have several recipes that we can make soup, we can make barbacoa, we can make with mole coloradito. But today I'm gonna I'm gonna choose two because it's only one, so there is not enough meat for all the recipes. So, ready? Can't believe it. 
What are we doing over here? Well, I thought I'd bring you guys to uh, Mariachi Plaza here in uh, Boyle Heights. Um, as you can see, it's been uh, updated because of the metro station. But this is where the mariachis hang out. So, oh, so they're, they're, they're here looking for gigs? Exactly. Oh, cool. Well, let's go check them. Yeah, let's, right. go, let's go get a gig. So, so Chewy, so if I'm like, if I want to be a mariachi or anything, you know, I, I gotta have, I gotta have what it takes to be a mariachi. So, uh, let me so maybe whip my mariachi on you and yeah, what, tell me what, what you think. What does he need to do to, to, to be in it with the big guys, like back behind? Acapella right now. Okay, All right, so let's get us a shot. Ready? Right. Do this. Let's, let's go. Okay. Que bonitos ojos tienes debajo de esas dos cejas. Debajo de esas dos cejas. Que bonito ojos tienes. Put more ojos in it. More ojos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ellos me quieren mirar, pero si tú no los dejas, pero I mess up right now. Yeah. I, I didn't get the gig. You know what? I, th I think I think uh, my appetite just got worked up really big. I, let's go back to Juan. Yeah. <laughs> he just, he, I don't know. I, I, I don't know whether I lost my appetite or I have a bigger one right now. I'm not sure, but let's go back. Yeah, I'm, huh? I'm a little confused myself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is a Juana and Barbacoa birria. That's the way my, my grandma used to make at home when I was little. So there it is. How was that, guys? Huh? Well, I feel like we've had our eyes culturally open today, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, yes, we start. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm ready. All right, so um, what did you make for us today? We made the uh, birria with, with iguana, so it's going to be the birria with iguana and also we made more liquid. All, All right, right. So right two let's, plates. Let's see it. Well, while he's, uh, while he's bringing that up, Chewy, you're a, a aficionado of uh, fine beverages. What would you pair uh, this meal with? Is there anything you pair with iguana? I mean, really? Well, I mean, it is kind of wild, you know, exotic. So I was thinking maybe a uh, little paisilla. <laughs> It's kind of trying to give you guys something wild, but then I jumped into one of my favorite tequilas, which is Tapatio, uh, from the Highlands. But you know what? I figured it was just uh, not exotic enough. So what did you come up with? A little, oh, sang sang a little sangrita. Isn't uh, that the iguana blood? That it could be. Okay, you go first. Wait, is this, is this okay? I mean. Yeah, it's okay. totally healthy. It's you only like, live once. It's like liquid Viagra. Oh yeah? Yeah. I promise? <laughs> okay. Don't drink the whole thing. All right, salute. Yeah, save me some. Man, you make it look tasty. Right? Wow. I feel strong already. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? Kind of scaly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like iguana blood. You're a rock star, man. I could get used to that, though. Right. So uh, anyway, now that we downed our uh, beverage, uh, let's check it out, chef. That looks really delicious. So what do we have here, chef? So here's the birria. That's the birria. Mole. Mole. Wow, it's very tender. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, can't wait. Mm. Okay. Wow, I love that, that the video. Oh. It's like a sharp, really sharp spiciness. Delicious. This is, wow, this is this is very very tender. Thank you. How long did you cook this for? Uh, Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes, huh? Now the thing about the spiciness is it comes in slowly. Yeah. So um, so you taste the other flavors of what's in there, and then the spiciness comes in afterwards. But to be honest with you. The iguana itself, it doesn't really have a strong flavor. It's not. Um, it's not like you can say, you know, tastes like pork or tastes like chicken or tastes like something else. It's yeah. very delicate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so Chef Juan, uh, what, what's mole? Mole is uh, is it's made with different kind of chilies. For example, this one has four different kind of chilies: it has sesame seeds, it has honey uh, seeds, it has uh, you know garlic, it has uh, all the different. So it has a little chocolate too. So this oh, is the mole. Oh, chocolate, chocolate. Juice. Okay. Is that the, the color it gets? The no. Chocolate. No, I know Oaxaca is known for its moles, but uh, Guerrero, they also. Yeah, know, have, we also make it. Mm. So right off the bat, there's there's a sweetness that you definitely don't have in the birria. The first thing, that, the first thing you hit to the sweetness, and then you get that little mild spice that comes in afterwards. Yeah, it's very well balanced. The sweet and the spicy, and everything is a nice balance to it. Yeah, and again, the spice comes in afterwards. This is amazing. I mean, like you, you could do like a whole iguana, you know, iguana extravaganza. Hey, I got a great idea, Chewy. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, check this out. So on nights when you serve the iguana, right, you can have this big piñata and put in the piñata live iguanas. What are you talking about? You can put live iguanas in the piñata. So, like, so you want a piñata? Yeah. What about you can be the piñata? We can meet you. Should we get a salad? Here, gringos, here, 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 I want to be in Tijuana eating barbecued iguana. Hey, Val, who sings that song? That's Walla Voodoo, Eddie. Can we keep it that way? Sure. Thank you. Why not? Hey, that was some spectacular iguana. Never had it quite prepared just like that. That yeah. was amazing. amazing. Absolutely delicious. I agree. But what would you do with iguana if you had one? Make sure to leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe up above. Then you can find out what's in the bag on the next episode of Kamikaze Kitchen. <laughs> 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 Finally, some law and order in this here town. <laughs> I'm thankful for some uh, grasshoppers. <laughs> all, the, all that riding making me want some grasshoppers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a mighty good chapulite. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!